You want me to sell? Yeah. Right, hello again. Here we are back in Les's nice posh garage. The warm garage. The warm garage, although it's not actually too bad at the moment. We're still cool va summer va and warm vaguely in the summer. We're, yeah, we're yeah. vaguely still in the summertime, even though it's now quite cold and rainy. Yeah. Right, so here's Drew's Tubber Project, and not seen it for a while. So what's been happening since we last saw it? Uh, I fitted the cylinder head, um, camshafts, uh, shimmed it all up, yes. and obviously put the rocker cup, H cover, valve cover. Yeah, I cursed you, on. didn't I? I cursed you last time I was here because I said, I bet you one of them won't, won't be right. Yeah, I, I'd, I'd worked out the shim sizes. Before you began, you, yeah. You jinxed me. I did, I did. And uh, the very last one I checked was wrong. Yeah. So I don't know whether I'd had a... Something I don't know what had gone on, but yeah. I had to take the cam out. Yeah. Luckily, I took the exhaust cam out and managed to reshim it without taking the inlet cam yeah, out, which yeah. I, I thought I'd try it, and it worked. Yeah, so, it's so um, yeah. <coughs> So all the valve timing is spot on, all yeah. the shims are spot on. Right, and you've got your covers on here. Yeah. The um, On this side, the clutch cover's back on again. Yeah. One thing that's happened that I know you did the other day is that you've now got the shocks lined up with the swing arm. Correct, I've, I've, I've measured the what and the spacers I needed, did yeah. the drawing, yeah. and Jeff's machined me these spacers. Mm -hmm. So I fitted them yesterday. Also, I've been doing the chain alignment. Yes. I need an offset front sprocket, yeah. a quarter of an inch. Yes. And I needed to move the rear sprocket in a quarter of an inch bit, or, yes. or six mil. Yes. Um, so I've had the wheel out, the, the hub's been off, the studs have been removed by Jeff and he had to heat the hub because they were locked tight again. Yes, yes. And they were terrible, really difficult to get out, he said. Yeah. Then he's had to make a spigot to, to put the um, hub onto to hold it concentric in the lathe. In the lathe, spin it up. Spin it up, he's, he's, he's took six mil off. Which brings this in which yeah. by six and mil. And then yesterday I've re tighted the studs back in, which made nice, sure they weren't. New. Is this a super this sprocket? Is a, this is the gearing of, oh, I've ordered a super sprocket rear sprocket. Yeah, I've got one in between, it's really nice. And I uh, fitted the titanium right. nuts which Drew bought. Right, now you've got a slight problem because what you need is an offset front sprocket, you're telling me. I do. And you found one Yeah. in America. Roaring Toys do one in America. But they won't send it out from. But their them. website won't send to the UK. Yeah. And then I looked further onto Google and found that they there was someone selling one on eBay, which turned out to be Roaring Toys again. So you did that? So I, did, I went through the, the process and the only country they don't send to is the UK. Oh, brilliant. Every country but the UK. Oh, wow. So I've sent them a message asking them, can they send me a... Because I don't want to make a sprocket no, if there's no. one available. Yeah. I think I got the spares to make an offset sprocket because I made two. Well, I did ask Jeff when I was down there yeah. getting all the spaces made. You may have forgotten that I've got that. You did. He has made sprockets in the past, but it's, yeah. it's, it is it's a lot of work. Big, yeah. It's a lot of, and especially if you can buy one. Oh, absolutely. It's actually the same spline as a Hayabusa. Mm -hmm. And Suzuki copied this spline on the GSs, okay. GSXs, and then into the Hayabusa range. Right. So actually the offset sprocket I need is a Hayabusa front sprocket. A quarter inch offset, and I found them in the UK, and you can get ten mil offset, mm -hmm. and Whatever which is three three eighths, mm -hmm. and you can get five eighths offset, which is about sixteen mil. And I've found them on UK sites, but not the quarter inch one. To go back slightly to these um, offsets at the top of the shocks, one thing that people may not know is that to do it. What we've done is used, I'll get this right, ZRX 1200 or 1100, so-called cup, cup nuts. Cup nuts, or the sleeve nut. Or sleeve nut. The sleeve nut, yeah. And on a ZRX, they're actually not used the same way we use them because they use as like an extension to the standard nut. Yeah, they use it like so you can hook. put a bungee hook on, yeah. 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 And so they've got like a ridge on both sides, which is not good to us. Well, like so, a bobbin, aren't they? Yeah, like a bobbin. Yeah. So what we do is we machine off one end so it's nice and smooth and it will go in and it just happens to be the correct diameter to work with yeah you know, the take out the shock. tube in the sh shock amount yes and the rubber runs directly on the sleeve yes. nub yeah yeah so basically these spacers just stop the shocker from moving sideways they don't grip the, sh the shocker as no, such no they just rotate they just let it allow it to rotate which is yeah, which is correct right. yeah right so that's the sort of back end almost together yeah at the front end you did have the uh headlamps mounted there were these two big Kind of LED yeah, yeah. Lamps. They're over there, yeah. Yeah, they're over there. They're over here, I'll just grab them. Are, are they together? Yeah, they're yeah, yeah. Here. So these are them here, like big eyes. Big eyes. Angel eye headlights. And you've got these rather cool LSL mounts for them. Yeah. So they're off at the moment because I think you're making a mount for the instrumentation. 
Yeah. Is that right? Yeah. The, so. the, well, the clocks are down underneath your feet there. Um, oh yeah, I want to check them out. But uh, I need to make a design and make a bracket to hold the clocks, no. and also an ignition switch. Yeah, yeah. So that's. Uh, so I, just, I can't put the headlight back in until I've done that. Right. So is that what you do next, or? <coughs> um, yeah, that's one of the things I'll be doing next. Uh, I have been busy stripping the brake calipers because they were oh, yeah. corroded, and yeah. I've, I've so removed the pistons. You can see the corrosion in them. Yeah, so these are Tokiko six pots that's fitted to things like Jixa 1100s back in the day. Ayabusas, a lot of Kawasaki's, yeah. yeah. So you are going to clean them up. A lot of work because there are six pistons in each one, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah but I've got spare pistons from other and calipers here's, here's I've stripped. Piston. So you I can can't make see from over there, but here's one of the pistons. I can make a good set out of yeah. uh, two or three sets I've got. Yeah, yeah, so that's what you uh, need But they need painting, so they've got to be vapour blasted. Yeah. And painted. Same as the rear caliper, so I've yeah. stripped that as well. Uh -oh. So all the caliper halves can go off for um Coating. for, for vapour blasting first. Yeah. And yeah. then I can paint them. Okay, you can paint them. Yeah. All right, you've got your uh The next thing? job is to put the header pipe, the turbo header oh, pipe yes, on. Yes, yes, the uh, important So I've found the exhaust all the exhaust studs and there are four at one length and four at another because the stubs are off, off you know, not the same height. Okay. Um which you can't see on camera. No, no. Um and out of the eight studs, seven are usable. And one's a bit tired. Yeah, so I need, I need to probably either make one or order one. Yeah. yeah. Um, so the the exhaust headers can go on, and then I can I can work out the adapter bracket to mount the bigger turbo. Yeah, because obviously the original bike had had a proper mount to mount the turbo at the front of the engine. Yeah. Which this doesn't have, so you've got to make one. I've got to make an adapter bracket to mount the turbo to the headers. Once I've got the turbo in the correct position, then I can design a bracket to hold it to the crankcase to right. stop it flexing and moving about. What will you do to do that? Will you mount from the... Uh, well, I'll, I'll take a bracket from the turbo somewhere to these lugs on the crankcase. Oh, okay. okay. Like, it, it, I read the original turbo bolts to the front of the crankcase. Right, okay. But it's a different shape to the bigger turbo. Right, so that's got to be done. <coughs> yeah. Then, of course, it's electrics and... Well, no, it's um, injection and stuff, isn't it? Yeah, I've looked at the carb rubbers, or injector rubbers, and they're all perished, so yeah, I've got to buy a new set of uh, inlet, inlet rubbers, yeah. uh, and then all the, the uh, fuel injectors want vapour blasting and cleaning. The injectors, want, the injectors will, at the very least, want checking mm -hmm. to see if they okay, no. work and the spray pattern's good. Mm -hmm. If they're not, I'll have to replace them. Oh, and then you've got to have the tank welded, with uh, some new mounts, or not mounts. Yeah, the bodywork. Not not the mounts, sorry. The, the bodywork's uh, all standard, uh, Z650, mm -hmm. but um, I have to put a return, right. return like boss in the tank for the return, yes. fuel return. But also, I spoke to a lad who's already built one of these, and he said you have to move the outlet as well, because right. it fouls. So uh, there's two there's two jobs, for that. two jobs to do on the bottom Which of the tank. you can't do until you've got the the actual injectors in place so you can get it all lined well as once the injects i mean i can put i can suppose i can put the second hand rubbers on and just plop it on just yeah, to yeah. work just out yeah yeah uh, just, just, just to set yeah. up yeah i'm just yeah. checking we're still filming right so it's quite a lot going on but it's all small stuff but then again a bike is made up of lots of small things yeah i mean i, I was like i say concentrating on getting the, the rear wheel done and the sprocket on which is now done chain alignment yeah once the chain's on I've got a received a sprocket. Obviously, all the front cover on all the air intake system can go on. Yes. Yeah. Uh, which I can't do yet until I've done the sprocket. Right. Great stuff. Right. So that's it. So that's the update. That's right, yeah. Um, yeah. Oh, you got the ignition on as well. On, on this, you can't see it because we haven't got a lot of room in here. But you got the ignition. Yeah. I've just not put the ignition cover on. No. Because no, I was right. turning the engine over to, to, to do the valve timing right, and the shims. Okay. Good stuff. But uh, yeah, that cover. That's what right, that's so we'll back come on. back in a few weeks' time. Hopefully, see a bit more, and maybe even see it with the turbo in place. But we'll see. Yeah. Hopefully. Now it's time for tea. Cup of tea. Of course.